What's up everybody? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. This video I'm going to show you how to download MSI Afterburner and when you download MSI Afterburner it automatically downloads Reva Tuner for you also. Um, some people they don't know exactly the steps how to do it and this video is for you. Um, real quick though if you haven't make sure to subscribe and smash that like button it really helps out the channel. Um, other than that we're going to come to Google and we're going to search MSI Afterburner download right and once you do that it'll take you here and you're gonna want to make sure you come to the one that says msi.com okay click on that and from here it's gonna have a screen um, some people don't notice that the download button is right here I'm gonna put an arrow up so you can see and you're gonna click where it says download afterburner click that then you're going to set up where you want it to download to, what drive you want it to, and all that. And then click save. And it's going to be downloading down here. It's a zip. So what you're going to do is when it's done downloading, you double click it. And you're going to have to click on this application, okay? Once you click on it, you're going to click yes to let it um, override permissions. Then you're going to click your language click OK after that you go next accept the terms click next you're gonna want to make sure Reva tuner statistics server is checked you're gonna click next then you're gonna make sure to change what wherever you want it downloaded to um, I'm gonna change this um, then here you can click do not create shortcuts if you don't want a shortcut uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and click install and now it's downloading and installing to your drive. Um, but from here, you're going to click your language for Reva Tuner. Same thing next. You want to accept. Click next. You can change this. Click OK. Next. Install. And then after that, you click finish. Same for this. Finish. Um, then it's going to have some PDFs pop up. You don't have to look at these if you don't want, but it's just got some information on it. Uh, I didn't read it. You don't have to read it. Uh, it's just something that they put up there for Reva Tuner and MSI Afterburner. Just basically instructions, system requirements, um, features, stuff like that. So let's close this out. After that, you can see my MSI Afterburner is up. Let me just minimize this stuff so you can see. Um, this is the base look for it. If you don't like this look, no problem. You can change it. Um, what you want to do is find your settings, which would be right here. Um, once you're in the settings, then you're going to want to come to the top and click these arrows. Go all the way over to user interface. And this is where you can change it right here. We can go do this one this looks a little different um, just pick whichever one you like okay they got a lot of them this is the one I use on my other profile but I think I'm just gonna leave this one at the um, base one that they leave you with and click apply click OK um, another thing I want to show you real quick on this is coming to the settings again you're gonna want to go to monitoring and this is where you can change what's actually popping up on your display. So you see these check marks here. If they're not checked, then you can't have it on your display. But just because it's checked doesn't mean it's going to show up in your display. You want to have it checked, and then you want to click on it, whichever one, and then come down here to show on in-screen display. Click that, and then you'll see it says in OSD under the properties next to it. If that's up, then it's going to show up when you're playing the game. So make sure you just go through whichever ones you want. Make sure they say in OSD. So we always want our GPU temp, GPU usage. We do memory usage. Always do temp limit, voltage limit, all that. We'll do these three, power limit. Then we want to come down to CPU temperature. Make sure you got the temperature for that. 
and CPU usage. And that's about it. Oh, you want your frame times, obviously. So we're going to do one more thing. We're going to do RAM usage, frame rate, make sure it's checked, and then hit this box. We'll do frame time, which is in milliseconds. And I think that's about all I want. You can also do 1% um, low or 0.1% low. Um, frame rate average, minimum, maximum, whatever you want to do. Um, but that's all up to you. You customize it however you want. One more thing I wanted to show you guys. Oh, yeah. So say we want to change the name of this for when it shows up in your on-screen display. Um, it's going to say CPU usage, but we want to change that. So you're going to come down here to where it says override graph name. Click it. And then we're going to change this. I'm going to put it to Ryzen 7 5800. 800 x because that's the processor I have and then you're gonna click OK and it's asking me to restart it so you know I can restart it and then it should be set let's go ahead and close that out um, comment down below if you guys have any questions I'll be sure to get back to you but I just want to make this quick little video show you how to download MSI afterburner um, how to use it quick little tutorial um, again, comment all your questions below. I'll be sure to get back to most of them. So with all that said, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Um, check out all the links I got down there. I got IP Vanish, Amazon Storefront, and a couple other PC parts you can check out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.